Let's check out Dark Ages issue one. I went on my comic app looking for comics to read. I came across Dark Ages written by Tom Taylor. The premise of the story looked interesting, so I wanted to give it a try. We start the story off where Peter Parker, Mary Jane, and their kids is chilling with Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and her kids. Everybody's chilling, having a good time, just hanging out in New Jersey. Then we see Mayday Parker. Peter Parker and Mary Jane's daughter, she inherited Peter Parker's spider abilities from birth and she's pretty much chilling in the ceiling where she's not supposed to be because she probably can put her finger in a socket or something. All of a sudden, all the spider people's spider sense start tingling way out of control. This is worse than the Galactus level threat. So it's going, they're going crazy. Something is going on, something world threatening. Even psychics like Jean Grey and Charles Xavier can sense something dangerous is coming and technopaths like Apocalypse know something is coming and they're loving every minute of it. We then go to Moon Girl and her systems are picking up some strange patterns so what she wants to do is she wants to go to the second smartest person in the world and that's Reed Richards so she goes on top of her pet dinosaur called Devil Dinosaur and she goes to the Baxter building. So to get to that Baxter building, pretty much the big issue is why is there a dinosaur in the lobby, then earthquakes happen, and then Rita Richards and Moon Girl deduce that something is actually going on inside of the earth. It's not earthquakes, something is actually hitting the earth from the inside of the core. And all of a sudden, Owatu the Watcher shows up. And when Owatu shows up, pretty much shit's about to go down. You're fucked. The end of the world is coming. This is the only time this guy ever shows up. Then he tells a story about this ultra advanced galactic super robot that was made to deal with entropy and to suck out black holes in the universe. But this thing absorbed so much energy it got corrupted and then it turned evil. Then the Living Tribunal, a galactic entity that oversees balancing the universe, literally put this robot to sleep. Then he basically encased this robot into the middle of the world, and guess what world he put this in? He put this in Earth. Go figure. So Earth's heroes brought together the smartest minds to try to stop and counteract this unmaker robot. So they decided to bring together a strike force of Vision, The Thing, Invisible Woman, Scarlet Witch, and Doctor Strange. When the heroes got to the core of the Earth, there was like an oh shit moment. This is one big motherfucker. It's going to take a lot of clobbering to stop this dude. So this unmaker robot doesn't even care the heroes is there. He still keeps pounding away, causing earthquakes. The unmaker is causing earthquakes all around the world. Wakanda is unaffected by it because their infrastructure is on vibranium and vibranium absorbs impact. Unfortunately, other places weren't so lucky. Nepal is in ruins. Canada is feeling the wrath of the earthquakes. Even the great city of Atlantis is feeling the wrath of what the Unmaker is doing. So you got Captain America, the Avengers, the champions. Any heroes you can think of are doing their best to save and preserve life. Even Ant-Man is out there trying to hold up a building. They're doing all they can. So then we have Ben Grimm at Thing goes for a frontal assault of the Unmaker and the Unmaker pretty much unmakes the Thing. He pretty much bodies the Thing, vaporizes him into pebbles and all that. Then the Scarlet Witch also gets bodied. The Vision tries to fly directly into this Thing's head to give them time to escape. So Doctor Strange and Sue Richards are the last ones left. Everything's crumbling around him. Sue puts up a force field trying to hang on to whatever little rock they have. Doctor Strange opens up a portal to a dimension where no electronic devices work and it also creates a crazy ass EMP. The Unmaker knew exactly what Doctor Strange was trying to do so he pretty much impales Doctor Strange killing Doctor Strange or whatever, but it doesn't matter because the EMP did his job and it stopped the Unmaker. Doctor Strange in the one last attempt of his life sends Sue Richards to another portal so she wouldn't also have to sacrifice herself to save the world. But the portal stayed open and EMP the entire planet. 
all electronic devices stop working Iron Man's armor stopped functioning Giant Man couldn't go back to normal man size all life support systems were deactivated even artificial life was affected then we go to Spider-Man. He rushes back to a building that was demolished by the earthquake that his family was in. He falls face first into the ground, but it doesn't matter because he's afraid that his family might be dead. So he frantically goes through the rubble trying to find his family. But the crazy thing is that his daughter, Mayday Parker, held up the entire building saving everybody. So we see an older Peter Parker by a campfire. Seven years has passed. Peter Parker is pretty much telling people the story of how technology, how the lights went out, and this is the start of the apocalypse. And then in the next panel, we see apocalypse with a bunch of baddies, and the comic comes to an end. I want to apologize, guys. I should have had this video up way earlier, but my 9 to 5 is killing me, so I put it up late. But I have to say one thing. I heard about this legendary writer named Tom Taylor. He did something called Decease over at DC Comics. I heard this guy was a legend, and I can tell from this first issue. This was a phenomenal first issue. The artwork reminded me of the artwork from back in the days. The storytelling was really good. Definitely brings me back to the time I used to read comics as a kid. And I can't wait for the next issue. This might be a phenomenal series. If you like my content, rate, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Later.